Hello everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Voices of Change. I'm your host Madhubita Fukan and this episode I have with me Dr. Joseph Spinner from Zurich University of Applied Sciences, Switzerland. Dr. Joseph with his team advances computing paradigm around the topics of cloud native, post cloud applications, serverless computing, messaging and microbiling and many other technologies. He is one of the technical program committee's chairs of IEEE CCM community. Welcome Dr. Joseph. Thank you for having me on the show Matumita. So my first question to you Dr. Joseph, what role does IEEE CCM conference play in shaping the future of technology and innovation solutions for industry and societal challenges? It has a very important role, but let me start with a provocative statement. Let's say cloud computing has been around for 15 years and most established cloud conferences including IEEE CCM have been around for around 10 years. We may say that all cloud problems are solved and to a certain extent even all distributed systems problems are solved. But that is not the case. If you look at the problems of society and in industry today, we see that a lot of new challenges emerge and therefore new markets emerge as well, markets which do not yet exist. And this resonates with the reinterpretation of what an emerging market is for cloud computing. It is not necessarily linked to emerging economies, but also in highly industrialized countries, we have completely new markets for digitalization solutions, such as e-government solutions or challenges related to the IoT or Industry 4.0 automation in industry. So in that sense, we can say that a lot of the products and services that are needed on the market are not there. And we do not always know how to accomplish that. We do not always have the possibility to just allocate a couple of engineers at the bachelor level or master's level but instead we need to find out new ways to have a profound collaboration between academia and industry. And IEEE CCM is a good way, it's a great way, in fact, to bring those together. Let me relate to what was brought up a couple of years ago as a trio paradigm, cloud, AI and blockchain. Nowadays we see that most blockchain offerings are available as commercial service in the cloud. And also related to AI, we say that the hardest part of AI is not AI itself, but the systems around them. So in a way, cloud computing has become a major integration force. And in order to be able to offer nation scale services in order to address the needs of society and industry in the future, we need to make IEEE CCM happen again this year and as well in the next years to bring together researchers from academia and industry. And that is the important role of the conference in that context. That was quite insightful. Thanks so much for sharing your thoughts. My second question to you, how can technology enthusiasts and evangelists leverage the IEEE CCM platform for their professional growth? Well, a conference is successful if it provides a platform for all career stages, from student to senior researcher to senior executive in a company. And let me outline just two perspectives why IEEE CCM offers a great platform for students who want to consider founding a startup as well as existing startups. So for students who think of presenting their idea, the most important factor there is getting external feedback and finding out if their creative vision has any merits beyond getting a pat on the back by their supervisor, but also being recognized by the wider community. For a startup that is working on an idea, the main concern is getting venture capital similar to senior researchers looking for funding. 
And the conference provides a great opportunity to prepare the material so that not only on the conference forum itself, potential venture capitalists or investors are looking at the idea and judging the merits and the business potential, but also since the material has been prepared anyway, such as a three minute video on YouTube, the material is readily available to be disseminated after the conference to even increase the chance of finding potential investors in that idea. So in that sense, apart from the traditional academic tracks, IEEE CCM offers a lot of tracks for innovation around research for very applied innovation. And that makes it a great platform for everybody independently from their career stage. Oh, that's great. So that takes me to my third question. What's in store for the 10th IEEE CCEM? What are the exciting programs coming our way? Well, Matumita, as one of the co-chairs of the Technical Program Committee, I have to be impartial and discreet. Uh, we rely exclusively on the judgment of our great Technical Program Committee. This year we have committee members from five continents who will judge the contributions from a truly global angle. What I can already reveal is that we have a lot of contributions, submissions from the angle of uh, data-centric cloud computing. We have machine learning works. We have works related to data crawling as well as uh, prediction. But we also have a lot of applied scenarios such as sensor data processing or fixing potholes in the road. So in that sense, uh, we will have a great view into cloud problems as they appear globally. We have a good representation of that at the conference. In case anybody is watching this video just now and uh, coming too late for the deadline for this year for the full and uh, short research papers, I suggest to consider the September 15 deadline for submitting to the other tracks. Thank you so much, Dr. Joseph. It was really, really an interesting interaction. Great to know about your thoughts and to know what's in store at 10th IEEE CCM conference. Dear audience, I'm really excited to inform you once again that this year IEEE CCM will be organized virtually from New Jersey, USA. The participants can either attend physically from New Jersey or virtually from anywhere in the world. You can visit our website IEEE CCM 2021 for more information. Thank you so much, Dr. Joseph and my audience once again. Bye for now. We will catch you in the next episode.